The biggest mistake a lot of people make with Ravagers are they expect Corrosive Bile to always be a damage dealer. No, absolutely not. Corrosive Bile is about forcing your opponent, making him move, making him do something he did not want to do, being able to zone him against his will. If you hit with Corrosive Bile, great. And we'll go through the numbers of what it takes to kill some of the more important units in the game. However, remember, it's not about killing units. It's not about doing damage. It's about forcing your opponent out of the direction he wants to go in. If you are actually trying to cut off your opponent's retreat path, guess what? He's just going to turn around and snipe you, kill you, kill all your beautiful, amazing, really expensive Ravagers. And you don't want that. So you always want him to have a retreat path. You want to force him to follow that retreat path, not prevent it. And that's where a lot of players are making their biggest mistakes. According to Blizzard, the range of a Corrosive Bile is about the width of six Ravagers. The range is equal to nine, so we could therefore say that one Ravager's width is about one and a half range. This is useful when measuring the distance to your target. Ravagers are best used against static targets. This includes siege tanks, liberators, cannons, or pylons, destructible rocks, and even destroying your opponent's bases from afar. For the Ravager, which are primarily targeting the expansion, not the Protoss army, you can bait your opponent out of a well-fortified position to defend his expansion. And you'll notice a quick escape path up and to the left in this engagement. Bile can be used to knock things down, like force fields as well, which are most effective in conjunction with Colossi. The force fields force units to cluster while the area of effect from Colossi does a ton of damage. A quick Bile straight to the Protoss army quickly followed by one on the force fields will force the Protoss to the right, unable to capitalize on their force field advantage. And this has the added benefit of allowing quick pursuit of the Protoss if it's desired. Throwing down the Biles there, just to force him to move. Um, Poke Bunny is a very good player. You'll notice his micro is really a pretty, pretty top tier. So I, I wasn't really able to land a lot of the Biles here. He's, he's going to be able to pick up and move the tanks. But sometimes that's enough. If he's moving his army, he's not attacking with it. If he's picking up a tank, he's not attacking with it. And sometimes that's what you need to do. Even forcing some stims can be really nice. And like, he stims, he pulls away from the Biles and you pull away and disengage. And you just wait for stim to be done and that's just HP lost, energy lost. And if I can get him to the point where his army's up here and mine's down here, then I have this low ground, it's mine. It belongs to the Zerg, call it Char. Because there's no way in hell he can move his army down this ramp if I'm just throwing down constant biles on it. But even here, like, this is a little risky, moving through this little narrow choke. Like, this is the kind of scary spots for roaches. And he actually did get quite a few tank shots, uh, softening him up, my units, a bit. And even the stim, like, you can tell he was just, like, licking his chops. Like, yeah, come through, I dare you, I will eat your army. And he would have, so that's why I decided, no, not looking good for me, just going to pull back, maybe throw a couple biles for my retreat. And then these weakened roaches morph him into ravagers, and hopefully this roach horn will someday finish and I'll be able to max right out. I definitely have a lot of money to do it. Ooh, nice bile. That's really cool. Like, I didn't even notice that in the game, but just be really liberal with your bile throwing it down everywhere because you, you never really know when Terran is just gonna take some hits from it. Corrosive bile is great against clumps of roaches. Remember, six range exist on the Ravager, where roaches only have a four range. But in small numbers, Ravagers are actually weak against roaches because they have less health and a higher cost. And you know, you can't always guarantee that the Ravage, uh, the Corrosive Bile will actually hit. It is, however, very, very, very useful against Lurkers because just like with any siege unit, any unit that has to get into a special mode to be able to attack, this just forces the Unsiege and gives a huge advantage to the player using Ravagers. This can also be used to snipe Overlords, which requires exactly four Bile Shots. Good morning, YouTube. A little while back, 
I asked you guys what you wanted to know about with StarCraft, what videos you wanted to see, and RTE Weirdo got in touch with me and let me know that he wanted to know more about Ravagers. So this video is all about Ravagers, specifically for him. Some of this may be information you already know, a lot of it is publicly available, however I have taken it all, compiled it into one exclusive video where you guys can learn it all. It should be a complete overview from beginning to end. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of content. Let me know. I'll make some more. Suggest video titles. Or if you guys want to check out our next show match, please leave in the comments below what you want to see what players do you want to see face off in a best of seven for a crowdfunded prize courtesy of a match arena let us know in the comments below Shut up and sit down.